Yeah, child, you you know what? OG Hood Rich one of the motherfuckers shop. <clears throat> Got all kind of shit. Closet probably packed with all kind of shit. Child, they, they, they were saying uh, they wanted him to dress different. Baby, he been on a motherfucking zoot soup every motherfucking day ever since. You hear me? Oh, it done fell down. He been on a zoot suit every day. Do you hear me? When I tell you he get clean, baby, and get on there. Now, press one in the comments if you over 40 and you feeling that shit. Press one in the comments. He been looking good. Y'all know he been look good over there. Y'all bitches been in that wonder, bitch. Hey, you been smooth grooving, bitch. You done got up and danced with OG Hood Rich, bitch. And I know you did. Because I did, too. You done got up. He didn't even know he was dancing with us. Hey, bitch. I let him throw me and everything, bitch. And I turned around. And, honey, I, I stayed there and did my little one-two while he come up on me. Honey, I was, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? You like that gray on him? Baby, he, he got his shit. And I thought about it. I said, I might need to hook him up with my mama. Shit. That stepdaddy. <laughs> OG be cleaned in a bit. So, guess he wasn't up for answering any questions tonight. Uh, so, right on along. <laughs> Carrying that drunk. Hey, Tommy. There's a, a, a video of Queen Ivy and 21 on a rap battle. And I'm going to give me a white Right hand. after that rap battle, that's Join when... Join the ops. <laughs> Listen to food, That's honey. when Demi popped up. You can join him. You heard me? You, huh, go ahead, Pootie. On YouTube, there's a rap battle between Queen Ivy and 21 Bad Bitch. Mm -hmm. Right after that, that's when Demi popped up with the manager and I must get you signed and all that. Just go watch the rap battle between Queen Ivy and 21. It's on YouTube. Okay, he in the queue. Okay, thank you, Pootie. Can y'all please close y'all doors? Tell, close your door. Hi, how are you? Hey, baby. All right, the calm is cat, honey. How's it going tonight? I just got off a live to go support a, uh, a couple of sisters' PKs. Mm hmm Okay, so uh, they say you're looking different, honey. And they like uh -huh. you. They say you look different. And, and, and you know what? And shout out to you because you um, you got really, really, you know, and, and this is no shade. This is just for a lack of a better word. But you got really, really healthy. Yeah, um, I have to, you know, yeah. I got to eat different. Mm -hmm. I got to move different. You know, I got to think different. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm dealing with a brain aneurysm right now. So um, I just got um, a, neuro, a neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. I got to go see them on uh, October the 20th. And, okay. Uh, and see what they determine from there. Um, mm -hmm. What the... Uh, the continuous test that I have to keep taking. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, God is good, and you look great, and you seem to be in great spirits when we see you, so that's always a blessing. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of reminiscing a little bit with Demi tonight, and um, you came Oh, she, she, she was on the app? She was. She was in my life. We were lying. She was live for quite a while. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, have you been missing her? I thought I thought after she scammed everybody out the little twenty bucks and everything, and she went to the church to praise the Lord or repent from robbing everybody, she wasn't coming back on the app. Wait a minute, twenty dollars? What twenty dollars? And how many twenty dollars? A whole bunch of twenty dollars. Oh, when we say she did some type. She did some type of, I don't know, some type of raffle or some shit and took everybody's money and nobody heard back from the, her or the raffle. Well, they said she live right now. 
Oh, or was it the Forex class? Well, I know the Forex, that shit wasn't real. So I know whoever dropped them $5,000 just threw away that money for real, for real. Oh, wow. So, uh, but she is live. I mean, so I don't know. <coughs> Maybe she fixed things and. Well, I don't know. That's, that's not my worries. What she fixed and what she didn't fix. Mm -hmm. I know she can't fix what she done fucked up. Point blank. Did she mess up with then, you directly? Oh yeah, that's been that's been done. Because at the end of the day, instead of just uh, focusing on the career, when I introduce her to all the right people, that was even willing to step in and help her, you know, in her situation, she was uh, instead of pursuing a career for herself, she kept staying stuck on twenty one instead of mm -hmm. worried about getting on her feet, and getting mm -hmm. her own money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that. that that, that, that just ended it right there because, I mean, every every time I brought her around to my people to introduce her, you know, to, to people that could help her, mm -hmm. she kept bringing 21. Or she was bring, she every time she brought, every time she came to come meet my NFL partner, she always, she brought somebody else that she didn't even know. Uh, it was like three people. She didn't even know them. Your uh, NFL partner? Yeah, I have an NFL partner that bought uh, bought my old spot for $1.2 Oh. oh, how you doing? Mm -hmm. So he has it now, mm -hmm. and um, nah. he liked it. Then he liked it, Demi. He wanted to get behind Demi. He was gonna let Demi use a recording studio over there. He'll let Demi rehearse mm -hmm. the whole night. Demi could have even lived in there because they had an apartment in the damn place. Mm -hmm. So okay, I'm sorry. Uh huh. So uh, he bought the place that Trina B them was gonna get for the party. Cause you got a couple, you got several places. What party? Not what party? What party? What party? Uh, what Trina what B party? was gonna rent your place for the party. Yeah, Trina B tried to book my place and everything, but uh -huh. Trina B never booked my place. Right, but is that the Trina, place that you? Trina, Trina B wanted to book my place uh, on on credit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait a minute, so um. Is that the place that you sold? Say that again. Is that the one that you sold? What's that? The one Trina B was gonna rent. Ah, uh, nah. The one that Trina B was going to rent is what we still have right now on on ML on O National called Mingles Bar and Grill. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No deposit never came in, and then right. Pastor P called me. And Pastor P wanted to book the same building, so Trina B couldn't get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so let's get, we had got distracted a little bit, uh, OG. Um, so. You said what now? We had got distracted a little, so. Um, they wanted to know, what was our question? Oh, they, child, listen. They really think you and Demi had some type of romance going on. I don't think nah, so. Nah, that, that's that's what they saying and shit. But mm -hmm. I would, why would I fuck fuck Demi? Like, I I just wouldn't Demi. see the attraction. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna fuck somebody, that she better be on my level. She better be making money. She better be taking me to go get a manicure, a fucking pedicure, all that shit. You feel me? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with a man getting a manicure. And shit, oh, nothing at me? all. But. Why was she, we'll we'll talk about that later. He just showed. I mean, because at, at the end of the day, if you around me, I'm gonna take you to go get a manicure, pedicure, whatever, whatever. You feel me? We gonna mm -hmm. step out. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm hmm. Would you okay, want? You don't want your man assist? Huh? Huh? I can get my own manicure and pedicure. Poo. Oh, I mean, I, I, mean, I can do that myself. Some people can't get their own manicures and pedicures. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just keeping it one hundred. That ain't the woman you gonna be hanging around, right? Oh hell no, baby! Hey, shit. So we talking about the woman. You see what I did? I broadcast live mm -hmm. thirteen hours a day on this app, mm -hmm. talking to real women at the end okay. of the day. Uh huh. Um, there's some ladies that saying, "Honey, you could get theirs done for you." They wanna? Aren't you married? You married? I'm not married. I'm single. There's some ladies that he's single and ready to mingle. These ladies said, "Forget the questions. They got their own questions." 
I don't blame y'all. Fuck all. I'm not. I, to be honest, I ain't come here for Denny or whatever. You feel me? Uh-huh. I came here because uh, they told me that you wanted to talk to me. So I, I did, and now I we just came. To I came to uh-huh. come talk to you. Okay. So, well, you know, we did want to talk about Demi a little bit. Um, why did y'all fall out? We have to get back on track. Again, if you're not focused, I got a hunt. I got a, I got a bunch of people around me right now. If they lose focus right now, I'm not going to fuck with them. They got to get the fuck out too. Period. Okay. I like that. Mm-hmm. Got to be focused. Like, I, I got to be around focused people. I can't be around somebody that's going to drag me down mm-hmm. knowing that I just recovered from a heart attack. Mm-hmm. You feel me? My second heart attack. Mm-hmm. Just got out the hospital and shit after fucking with Demi mm-hmm. and found out I, I accumulated a whole a fucking brain aneurysm. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm-hmm. you think I can't be around nothing negative or anything that's going to keep dragging me down mm-hmm. along with them because that's all Demi kept doing was dragging herself down, getting on live and Trying to get this girl arrested, trying to do all kind of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. You came, you came in to be a manager. You know, nobody knew who the fuck she was. Then she came in to be her manager. Turn around, a manager don't sit here and fuck their clients. You Uh feel me? She turned around and put a strap on, fucked her client, and then I'm helping 21 now. 21 been in my studio, recorded four records already, and 21 don't even have a publishing company, Mm -hmm. don't have a business license, don't have nothing. So what kind of fucking manager Demi was Mm -hmm. to say that fucking 21 don't have none of her paperwork together? Right. And I just gave 21 a game for free. I told her to do all that shit. Get a business Mm -hmm. license, get her everything. Get a mm-hmm. publishing company, register her music, Why the whole nine out. yards. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. So do you uh, think she might have been clout It's not the chances? point that she can't rap. It's not the point that she can't rap, but I have a studio. You feel me? If somebody want to be a rapper, you know, I mean, everybody has a dream. You mm-hmm. feel me? I ain't going to lie. When 21 came to my event, uh, when I had my Beagle meet and greet, mm-hmm. she rapped better than every fucking body that came off of Beagle on that stage. She mm-hmm. tore the fucking stage up. You feel mm. me? Y'all Who didn't tore it up, Demi? No, 21. 21, when I had the big old meet and greet at my warehouse. Yeah. Back then, when I first came on the app, when Raz B brought me on here from B2K. Uh-huh. Yeah. I had I had the drip idol. Well, when you TKO. say tore it up, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. 21 got on that stage, drunk, drunk and everything, and still rapped better than everybody on that stage. And who was the rapper? That- TKO? It was TKO, fucking uh, low, uh, fucking uh, uh, mm. wheezy. It was a whole mm. bunch of people. Yeah. So we're considering, you know, greedy yeah, was there. She performed, rapped better greedy than greedy. Performed too. <laughs> yeah, greedy performed that night. It was a whole bunch of performance, but Twenty One did do a, a better do job than everybody that night. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> What Even though she was a handful. Uh-huh. And she was a handful. She kept falling all over the place. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, Shay. Hey, Tommy. Hey, OG. I just wanted to speak to the Forex part of what Demi is doing. That's not a scam. I signed up with Demi. I put my little $100 in for the start to start trading, and I made money. So that's okay. not a scam. Okay. And thank She's you really for doing that. that real. Thank you. Forex okay. is legit. Thank you for, for clearing that up. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I want some of the people that brought five thousand dollars into that Forex come up here. Is there I know hundred dollars. Five thousand. Is there anyone here? Because because what are you saying? The hundred dollar return could have been more I reachable mean, than the five thousand dollar return. Than return on the. Pro- she probably put. She probably put them. I should have asked her, did Demi put her on to buy that? You feel me? Or did she send Demi the $100 and got a big return? That should have been my question to her if she don't mind coming back up. Do you mind coming back up, Shay? I will. Have... <laughs> uh, can... Do you mind coming back up and answer that? Okay, the way that it works is you set up your own Forex account. What Demi does is Demi tells you when to buy and when to sell. And that's how you make your money. Demi has no access to your money or your account at all. All she does is help you set it up, help you fund your your account with your money, and you go off of her signals of when to buy and when to sell. Okay, so you don't send her the money. You you do it your own. You you set your your account. account up yourself. 
And all we do is when she says, okay, this is hot right now, this is trending, buy this or sell that. And that's what she does. And she's been on point ever since. Or is that is it okay. now? If you say she's been on point, she's been on point. But I got a lot of people that said that she's not on point. would do that. Yeah, and they and they her team. So, <laughs> mm. I, I mean, I don't know about anything else she has going on, but I, I know what I else is in here that can talk about it. You feel me? What I said, a, lot, a lot of y'all come in my life talking about these things. Don't be yes, you know what please saying? come forward if come, you've been come a, speak up at the yep. end of the day. Yep, yeah, yeah, speak back. up, but. W- what I'm talking about with okay. the Forex, okay, yes, I yes. gave her $20 to be a part of her group. Mm-hmm. When you become a part of the group, she gives you how you log in to these two accounts. You fund the account yourself, and every day she has signals and guidance on what you need to buy and what you need to sell. And from that, I've made almost $1,000 from my $100. So I'm not even going to sit here and cap. Period. She's not playing. She knows what she's doing with the Forex. So I don't know what she did to anybody else. All I can speak on is me, and from me, she ain't scam me. So, okay. well, that's what's, that's what's up. Well, thank you. That's what's up. That's what's up. I, I'm ha- I'm happy that anybody that you know that made it through there got their money. Right. Period. Because I'll be mad. I have a question for OG fun. Hood Rich. Yeah. Do you still have the songs that Demi had made at your studio? Uh, yeah, it's been made in my can studio. You- yeah, can you play one of them? Play the because she was going through it with twenty one, so she was um heartbroken and she made a sad song. She she did she you, did that because she is like it was it was because of twenty one, like you said. Yeah, it, you know, I mean she co with it with her with the lyrics. Can you play that? Yeah, I got I got the record. I can play it. All right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Child, they over there. T- Tech, I'm finna let the other person up hood rich. But real quick, they over there texting Carrie. Ed, somebody's texting uh Carrie. Eb wants to speak with you, Carrie. She doesn't like how Tommy K is disrespecting you for beans. You can't be on Bigo. But you're no good woman on here talking to all types of men. There's no respect for you, Carrie. You need to leave her. Who said that? This is what Ebony May sent to my boyfriend. Now we know oh, we're not even. But why? Why her. Ebony's got her own thing going on. Why it, would she be concerned about what another broadcaster is doing? Well, you know she has her own thing, but you know they be hating. She's a roach. Her man broke. She. But broke. I mean, it's, it, but 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 again, it shouldn't be nothing to be hating on because you got your own fucking platform. She got her own fucking platform. So yeah. to be hating, I think that's some bullshit at the end of the goddamn mm-hmm. day. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, this app is fucked up. Oops, I showed the number. <sighs> okay. It, it just sounds like she's trying to get... I, I sound like she's mad or jealous or something. She's very jealous, and she really, if you listen to every word she says, I you mean... You keep doing you. You I keep am. doing you. Fuck I that am. shit. At the end of the day, you keep doing you. Make sure you ain't burning in the motherfucking camera. You know the routine. Mm-hmm. Just keep this shit like you got it going, and at the end of the day, fuck whoever. Do you. And you got me up here. You know it's all good, baby. Hey, but hey. I want to up here and say oh gee so what was that about when she was saying that you said that she stank when she was hanging out with you um it was a clip that was posted up on facebook and it was about her being stanky hanging out with you well, i mean you know we're in a studio she wasn't living at her house y'all yeah, know she wasn't living at her house y'all yeah, know she was staying at you know other you know where she can stay at to keep safe you know, I had to bring her to my artist's house and shit. She had to take a bath, you know, because she had, she has, you know, at the end of the day, when you, when you work in the studio and you ain't randomly taking baths like you want to, you're going to have a smell at the end of the day. So she was. Yeah, because we was about to go out, you know, and if y'all see me, I'd be dressing fly every three, two times, three times a day if I want to. But, you know, we about to step out in the big venue. I'm taking her to fashion shows. I'm taking her to big fucking EDM parties and shit. I'm taking her everywhere. You feel me? 
but she had no no items, you know, no 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 undergarments and shit like that. So mm, you know, I we had to make do by bringing her where well, we can yeah, bring her. You know what I'm saying? So she can get oh. fresh. So we can go out. And there's been times like I we went shopping again, and she didn't even go out. You know, she stood uh, wherever she stood at, worried about 21 with the outfit. Mm -hmm. I ask you a question, OG. Yeah. As a man, though, um, did you think that it was kind of unprofessional to have to mention her um, under your under your situation and under her situation? Did you think it was unprofessional to have to mention her to on her grooming? He got a call. Yeah, he got a call. But I just wanted to ask him that question, and I'm going to get down. Okay, get back to you saying something about uh, unprofessional, about broadcasting it. Uh, I said, no, no, no. I said, do you think it was unprofessional for you to have to tell her or for her, for you to have to tell her that she was a stanky? Because a lot of people said that in the comments that you were I, I mean, at the end oh, of the day, it was, I mean... She she knew what's going. She knew what she had going on for herself. You know, at the end of the day, I was just a vessel that supplied a facility for her to record. I had sh other shit going on. You know, in the midst of all of that, I know she couldn't go nowhere with me looking like she did, or even you know, in, in the condition she was in. So I I ran to the mall while she was still recording. My people, everybody getting dressed and everything, but me. You feel me? I picked up an outfit that was way more than three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You feel me? At the end of the day, that's not including you know the weed that I fronted her that she was supposed to pay me back. She never paid me shit back. You feel me? That's not including the weed I smoked with her. I mean, it's just a lot of shit. I'm a, I'm I'm a boss. Why would a boss nigga take the time out to go drive somebody around like a chauffeur at the end of the day? You feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I I was just doing due diligence, you know what I'm saying? Helping someone get in place, the right place to be around, but you can't be in the right place if your mind is stuck on, you know, on, on 21, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like an addiction. Mm -hmm. Even when she was in a car with us going to the event, my girl had to turn around when she was here. She'll tell y'all. She had to tell Demi, look, get the fuck off the phone with 21. You, you tell him, you telling us that you ain't fucking with her, put you in the backseat of the car talking to her. And we're going to an event. So my girl's like, you can't have that negative energy around my, my, my OG like that. You know, so. Hey, OG. Hey, um, I want to say that's true. Like, if somebody's taking you to some professional places and with big people, you have to carry yourself in a in a clean manner like you know you don't want no stank ball following you around and right. you meeting Mike Jordan and Jay-Z and Beyonce and them come on now ain't nothing unprofessional about telling a person no, to go you can show his shit oh you show what's this rabbit and old lady <laughs> he's an arm robbery <laughs> Let's talk about Simon. Three Chinese warmers, the rest punch. We gotta go through this. Yeah, we need to go. Can you send people to her house? Damn, Grandma put it all out there, didn't she? So he got OG Hoover has got a warm for robbing elderly women. You know, no, no disrespect, Grandma. Oh, uh, y'all good. And I've been having. Girl, how is that a game? Wait a minute. That bitch been running from. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell that got to do with this? I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. That's that, that live. You remember that old, it was an older lady. Was the saying it was That I ripped off for $3,000 because right. she signed a contract for her nephew. Her, her nephew had a brain damage and everything. They came to my warehouse, her and her nephew. They signed the contract. Brought me $3,000 like everybody else pays me $3,000 and shit. You feel me? Today, still today. You feel me? And she paid me. She hung around for six weeks in my warehouse. I'm telling her what to do as far as start the LLC, get the publishing, buy the RSIC codes for the music and everything. I told her and her son to download the app. 
to download Beagle so they can get, you know, so so her son can get some recognition on the mm -hmm. app. All right. So for three months, nobody had heard from her. She stopped coming to my warehouse. She ain't do none of the shit that she was supposed to do to handle her son's business shit. He never got on the app to try to promote himself. You feel me? So she sat there and came on the app, started uh, coming on the app herself instead of her nephew talking about OG Hood Rich ripped me off. But she went to the Keys. You know how that go with Brandon and them. You feel me? So she went to the Keys and told Brandon and them I ripped off for $3,000. I, we put the contract up at the end of the day. She was on the live, broadcasting live, talking about she ran her neighborhood. That she 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 ran her neighborhood, and then she brought up Shorty Lowe's name, who's dead, who's no longer here. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the video, go look at the video, and you're gonna see the comments in the bottom. Bitch, what the fuck you mentioning my uncle name for? Bitch, you ain't no fucking body in this neighborhood. They went off on her, distracted her. She didn't know what to fucking say then. You feel me? And then the next day, her house got shot the fuck up. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You think I got time to shoot somebody's houses up and shit? You okay. can't sit here and claim no fucking hood in Atlanta, Georgia on no fucking Beagle when you got fucking family on this bitch. You feel me? So she put herself in the... Right now, she's still on the app with no views, no nothing, nobody selling fucking nails. Selling okay. nails. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I just want to say this. I was in the live and um uh used to the streets live when yeah. that went down and the lady was up there and she was telling you know Brandon that um OG Hood Rich was gonna shoot her house up. OG I Hood Rich that. came in live, he was trying to talk and um he was like he's telling Brandon, you know, why would I shoot her house up? Woo de woo and um all of that so i i believe what he said what he's saying with all that being said i just want to say this real quick to the comment section y'all don't be disrespectful right. to anyone that's in the box you can say your opinion if you come up in the box or if you're typing in the comments but at the end of the day be very respectful to people because people do not have to come up here right. and give us this and give us right. their time right. So be respectful. Say how you feel. If you feel he's a con artist or a scammer, that's cool. You can say that. Right. But don't start calling people names and, you know, going all sideways with it. Be respectful with your right. with your, your comments. That's all I'm asking. Yes. And I'm out. And Thank I mean, you. they could show my address. Everybody know where I live at. At the end of the day, I ain't ashamed of my game. You feel me? If I, I, I'll send you some personal pictures and show you what kind of clips I'm carrying. You feel me? Like, for real. And I got people here that can tell you. I got little young shooters in here that'll shoot anybody before I will. But you know, we we ain't even worried because I just think that was. Uh, I mean, what was that? Two years ago. Yeah, that so, shit was a long time. But this is the crazy we have, part. They haven't even like, been won, discussed on Bigo in forever. Yeah, that's just somebody that just want to pick up some little bullshit. Like, mm -hmm. that shit is so old and dead with. Mm -hmm. She can't even mention my name in this city no more. Now, on some gang gang shit. Hey, Queen D Love. Hey, how you doing, Miss Good, how are you? I don't know. My head is going on busy right now. I'm rough <laughs> Really? I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, I went from 21, motherfucking Denny, and now I'm dealing with her, bitch. Mm-hmm. That's why and at we the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out, like. Yeah, that's why we popping, baby. We, we, we keep the show going. It all ties together. Yeah, because, I mean, everybody's, I, I, a lot of people kind of use me to cap in the, the fucking game momentum on this app since they came into my life. Even Raz B from B2K. Mm -hmm. D Love acting real goddamn slow. Can Don't he look like a Benzino. No. Can we hear the song, please? Oh, shit. I got to get the song off of here. I got right. distracted. Yeah, right. No more distracted. You got D Love coming up here acting slow and shit. <laughs> the fuck? I was like, Hold on. I got you. Hold on.